better move along before he runs out of music and that cobra gets unfriendly. Besides, Professor Ogden's waiting for us. Hey. Hey, Howard, wake up. Let's get back to our camp. You woke me up just in the nick of time. I was dreaming we were back in Africa, and hundreds of savages were chasing us with spears when you stopped and shouted, I am Rama, your friend. I'll bet that stopped them. <laughs> Are you kidding? One of them hurled a spear that went clear through you and was coming at me. Oh, it hitting you too, Saeed Ogden? <laughs> no, sir. Dr. Reynolds woke me up too soon to find out. Uh, you better watch those dreams, Professor. Don't forget, we're in India. Well, anything can happen. I'll bear that in mind. Do not see how burned corpse sob? No, not since we've been in India. In this country, they don't waste any time getting rid of the dead. It's true. If corpse not burned quick, it's making many people sick. Because of the heat and bad sanitation? Is that true, Saeed? him away, Saeed. Yeah, he frightened the natives away, too. Hey, look. Evil spirit, Saeed. Oh, don't go, Saeed. Don't go. Well, not leaving me alone. Serious thing I've ever seen. The dead living again. It's a miracle. It's not a miracle, Zahir. It's criminal negligence. You tried to burn me alive. No, no, no. Your head is out. The Sahib saved you. But if you didn't try to burn me, who did? That's what we hoped you'd tell us. We want to be your friends. We want to help you if we can. Tell us what happened. I don't I don't know, Sahib. I, I can't seem to remember. He acts as if he's been drugged. What are they calling you? I am called Dwarka. I live in the village of Yuslam with my employer, Saib Weatherford. Well, surely you recall if you were ill. Was it at Mr. Weatherford's home you took sick? I remember going to the temple. I was kneeling before the idol, Vashnaha. Maybe we better get him back to this Weatherford. No question about it. For one thing, he's in no condition to make it alone. For another, I'd like to find out why they're burning a living man. Zahir, do you know where this uh, village of Usam is? Down that trail, Sahib. Good. Let's get in the jeep. Oh, no, no, Sahib. Trail too narrow. We're having to walk. Well, in that case, we can't lose any more time. Uh, get our rifles, and then you go on to the camp. You not want I coming along? No, we'd rather find our equipment safe when we get back. Well, I do as you say, Sahib. Come along, Gorka. Here, rifle, Saeed. Come in. Uh, Mr. Weatherford. 
Walker. Now, this boy says he works for you. Why, yes, yes, of course, that is, he did work for me. I understood he was dead. He was to be cremated this morning. He very nearly was, burned alive. I don't feel good, sir, he, I'm sick. I suggest we get him to bed as quickly as possible. His room is right back here. Come along, Dwarka. leader. I do not wish to interrupt your meditations, but I bring terrifying news. Dwarka, whom our people left on the funeral pyre, has returned from the dead. What do you say? It is true, great master, every word. I saw him. You saw him? As he walked to the house of the dealer in Jade. If what you say is true, an evil day has come upon us. Is there nothing we can do? You wait. I shall ask the spirit Vashnahar for inspiration. From him will come the answer. As a matter of fact, Dwarka is gaining quite a following as a spiritual leader in the village. About a year ago, I began to observe that he was possessed of certain mystic powers. On several occasions, he was able to predict where Jade was to be found. Perhaps he has some source of information. Perhaps, but he cannot know when an unborn baby will be male or female, or when and in what manner people will have good fortune or will die. Can Guaca actually forecast such things? To such a degree that his influence in the village is almost as great as that of Kormanari at the Temple of Vashnaha. He mentioned that temple, Tom. Remember, he said he went there to worship. That was last night, and he never came back. This morning, I learned that he was dead. Tell me, can worshiping that idol bring on a state of hypnosis? It's never happened before, but I can't speak with any degree of accuracy. Unbelievers may not enter the temple, and I've never been inside. Excuse me, gentlemen. <clears throat> Come in, Kormanari. This is a surprise. Uh, these gentlemen are Americans. Dr. Reynolds and Professor Ogden. Gentlemen, this is the spiritual leader of Usam, the wise man, Komanari. Well, how do you do? What have you done with the soulless body you brought into this house? Are you speaking of Dwarka? I speak of the double soul who shed this incarnation to descend to a lower plane. Dwarka is back there in his room, and I assure you he's very much alive. I've spoken to him myself. It was the devil who spoke through the mouth of the dead. That's a lot of hooey. If you ask me, there's some other reason why you're so anxious to get rid of him. Are you going to return his remains to the burning grounds? Sorry. Dwarka stays right here, with Mr. Weatherford's permission. This is his home. Since you refuse, I must perform the necessary task myself. You'll do nothing of the kind. You will not stand aside and let me pass? You can bet I won't then you have placed yourself in league with the evil spirits. Your act will call down the vengeance of Vashnahar who strikes swiftly in ways too terrifying to contemplate. We'd better not waste any time getting Dwarka away from here. kormanori has got an axe to grind and he's going to grind it or else. I don't altogether agree with you, but in any case, I don't want anything more to happen to Dwarka. Well, we'll take him back with us. The natives don't know where we've pitched our tent, and we're far enough away from here to be pretty safe. Well, we should go in and wake him so he can get ready to travel. Good idea, Howard. Oh, wise Kormanari, I was praying to Vashnahar. Good, Suatro. Vashnahar will surely reward you. The will of Vashnahar is my command. 
wise teacher. Well spoken, faithful one. For word has come from Vaishnahar that you have been chosen to bring to this temple the devil's soul which now is in the house of the jade dealer. No, no, anything but that. You needn't fear. That which remains of Dwarka is powerless to harm you. Besides, you will take along several followers. I shall do as you say. Because it is the wish of Vaishnahar. One more thing. If Saib Weatherford refuses to disclose where he has hidden the soulless one, he will bring the white Saib here in his place. It will be done, Master. Tonight, with the darkness, vengeance will fall. Never did I do anything to hurt Kormanari. Even to the last night that I went to the temple, I remained one of his most devout followers. But you yourself have quite a following, Draka, and I don't think Kormanari likes that. Something must have happened when you went to that temple last night. Try to remember. That's right, Draka. If you could, it would give us the answer to everything. It comes to me now. Last night I, as I knelt before the all-seeing Vashnahar, a strange aroma came to my nostrils. I raised my eyes and I saw it, like a thick gray cloud. I tried to rise, but my body was not my own. And then I remembered nothing until I found myself at the burning ground. There's your answer, Howard. Poison smoke, which brings about a comatose state resembling death. Well, there's no telling how many of his followers may have been burned alive. You're lucky we got to the burial grounds when we did. If it be as you say, Sahib, then it be the will of Vashnahar. Nonsense. It's the will of Kormanari. I'll prove it. I'll expose him as a fraud and a murderer. Now you're talking. When do we start? Early in the morning. But I'd rather you'd stay here with Draka. It wouldn't be safe to take him to the temple, and I don't want to leave him here alone. Well, how about Zahir staying here with him? No, he's coming with me. But a non-believer dare not enter the temple, Sahib. Don't worry. Zahir will take care of that. Look, Zahir. Hey, I've never seen an orang like that before. It's a pretty big one. He in pretty big hurry, huh, Saeed? That's the way to travel, Zahir. No crowds, no baggage, no delays. Oh, that is, is a panther, Saeed. Feel a lot better if we had a rifle. Me too, Saeed. How much farther is it to this temple? I'm not knowing, Saeed. This first time I'm coming this way. Now you tell me. Unconscious. Revive him. Try to make him talk. I myself will go ask all knowing Vashnahar for guidance. Where did they take Dwarka? I don't know. Tighten it. Talk now. Tighten. Stop! Stop! Do you wish the strap pulled still tighter? No, oh, no, no more, please. Then you tell us, where did they take Dwarka? They took him to Dr. Reynolds' camp. That is better. Now tell me. Tell me, where will we find that camp? 
I don't know. I've never been there. Tighten it. <laughs> Revive it. Loosen it. That must be the temple of Ashnahar. It looked like same to me. What do we do now, Dr. Reynolds? We're going to give that place a going over. Come on. I'm going inside and have a look around. You stay out here and watch. Please, not taking chances, Saeed. Don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself. Good guides are hard to find, I understand. Big mistake to coming here. Not at all. I found out what they did to Dwarka. There was always some way to get behind the idol in the temple. Well, I'm not following you, Saeed, but I find Doran's side. Well, show it to me. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Soon he will be able to talk. He had better tell us what we must find out. Are you going to tell us now where the camp is? Sorry, letting him get away, Saeed. Forget about them. Let's see how Mr. Weatherford is. You got here just in time. I couldn't have stood any more of their torture. Well, you'll feel a lot better once we get you out of here. Maybe it's just as well Cormanari and Suwatra got away. It saves us the trouble of turning them over to the authorities. Yes, but what happens when Weatherford and Dwarka go home in Usam? Hmm. That little detail slipped my mind. I think this whole matter should be turned over to the officials in Benipore. It's on our way when we leave here. Well, let's strike camp and get going. I don't think we'd better until morning. Weatherford's in no condition to travel today. All right, tomorrow it is. Why, 
Why did you come here today, Sawatro? I meant no harm, wise teacher. My only thought was to let you know that Dwarka's disciples are arousing your followers against you. They now ask why Dwarka disappeared. Disloyal fools. You plan to steal the treasure of Vashnahar. I am not a stupid man, Suatro. Weatherford and his friends are certain to go to the authorities. And you know what will happen then. Take what you want, and we will go away from here together. I take nothing. Neither will you. The body of Dwarka is given to you, O Vashnahar, that you may be appeased. body of Dwarka burns on the pyre. Yet he returns to become our new leader. Joy to you, all wise Dwarka. Joy to you. Veranti Manona Dwarka. Hey, what's this all about? We know that isn't Dwarka's body on the pyre. Whom are you cremating? I believe you to be a just man, and I will tell the truth. It is the evil remains of Kormanari that are now burning into ashes. Kormanari? Early this morning, I found him trying to steal the treasure of Bashtahar. I knew then he was not the good wise man we believed him to be. He tried to kill me, and I had to slay him in self-defense. Dwarka now takes his place, and Sahib Weatherford may return to his house in peace. I believe you to be a righteous man, Swarthrow, and I'm happy for Dwarka's sake. Then you will not go to the authorities? Certainly not. I call down the blessings of Vashnahar upon you, Sahib. Belandi Katu. I shall always be grateful to the both of you. Good luck, Dwarka. If you ever read anything good in our futures, be sure and let us know. Well, you can safely go home now, Mr. Weatherford. Komenari is dead, and Suatro has promised to make amends for whatever they've done to you. Now, Dwarka will explain more to you when you get home. I thank both of you with all my heart. And if you should ever come this way again, please make my house yours. Thank you. After this, I'm not thinking anything exciting happening very soon. Well, I hope you're right. So do I, but let's not be too sure about it. Remember, we're still in India. <laughs>